What up? It's JoJo on the radio, and good Lord, Haley Steinfeld, I love you. How you been? I love you, too. I've been great. Thanks, JoJo. How have you hey, been? I've been doing awesome. By the way, just so you know, for the record, and this is not this is not about you. It's, this is about me, actually. I, uh, I'm i doing a photo session for a social network and every promo shots after mm-hmm. this after this our interview here. So this is right now the best you will ever see me look. This, <laughs> it does not get any. This is it's, I'm, I'm on a 10. I makeup on a haircut. It will never. So soak this. Tell your mom who's right there. Uh, this is as good as I'm ever going to look. Right yeah, so, mom. This is as good as you're ever going to look. Mom, this is it. Mom, take some pictures. <laughs> Haley, what's what's new? I know we got this track and everything. We'll get to that. But what's new with you? Give me the give me the full Haley rundown, movie included. Oh, the full rundown. Yes, I'm in the middle of making a movie right now. It's the spinoff to Transformers, Bumblebee, the movie, and uh, it's going amazing. We're in the thick of it right now, up north, and uh, I'm loving every second of it. The new track is out, which I've had for a minute, and uh, I woke up and decided I am so over using the word soon when it comes to telling my fans. <laughs> The status of my music and when it's coming. Um, so I called all the guys and I said, look, Friday, it's happening. Are you cool with it? And uh, I'm pretty sure even if they weren't on board, I was still going to do it. But they were all on board and they were all for it. And we are all so pumped about this song. So Because yeah, as I recall, last time you were here, we were walking down the hall, you know, and you we were talking. And tell me if I have this right. Uh, you were just, you can't say the word soon anymore because if you say the word soon, your fans are like, I really, you said soon like six months ago. No, it's which, true. You know, it's very true. So I'm, I'm trying to refrain from using that word. Um, and I'm trying to not only do that, but put out more music. So got it. And I, I understand the label's point of view. They have, there's timing and strategy and whatnot, but at a certain point you as, you know, you have to take control of your, your own thing, you know? Absolutely. So you said, Hey, can we do it Friday I'm asking for permission, but not really kind right, of a thing. Right, exactly, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and that's really kind of how it happened? Yeah, well, of course. I mean, you know, obviously there are some other factors. Um, but yeah, new music, again, is still in the works and on the way. And it keeps getting better and better, like I said last time. And, um, you know, obviously in the middle of a movie, so that's a bit hard. But I uh, am so excited to have this out right now um, with the guys that are on the track. They're so awesome. And uh, yeah. All right. By the way, uh, we'll pause and come back next and play the track. But I have one question about the movie mm-hmm. Transformers. I think it was called what again? Uh, Bumblebee. Bumblebee. Uh, with the with the movie like that, super action shots, a lot of green screen, running around. I'm guessing, you know. Mm-hmm. It, I mean, what's the craziest? You know, on like I normally ask for crazy road stories from an artist, which I sure. can do with you as well. But sure. give me crazy movie set stories. Oh gosh. Well, you know, I think the most exciting thing about working on this movie will be for me is seeing it along with the rest of the world because I have been using my imagination the entire time as to what these transformers are and will be doing. Um, And so it'll be exciting when I see it again, because like you said, a lot of it, 90% of it takes place either in front of a green screen or, um, you know, special effects. So I uh, am imagining everything and can't wait to see it all brought to life. That's pretty. So like when you're running from this giant transformer, which in the movie (laughs) It looks like 50 feet high. Totally. So you're running and screaming. Right. Looking at, what are you, yeah, what are you looking at? Um. Well, uh, it'll either be, I'll just take my own eyeline. I'll get the general, you know, <laughs> vicinity in which the Transformer uh, exists and I will take my own or uh, a tennis ball on a stick. Really? Yep. God, because I've seen all the Game of Thrones, they show the behind right. the scenes and of it's course. like, you know, something that looks nothing like a dragon, really. Yeah, you know, it's got so funny the picture. You're looking at a tennis ball on a stick. Yep. All right. You're an actor. <laughs> you're a badass. All right. Let's pause. You guys, Haley Steinfeld's in the studio back in a sec. Do not move. All right, guys. Jojo on the radio in the studio with Haley Steinfeld. Of course, follow her on everything. You already are. Who am I kidding? Uh, at a Haley Steinfeld. The, uh, we'll get to the details on the album and let's get to the single. Let's. Once again, as you said two seconds ago, your fans, you are, you've put a personal muzzle on yourself, self imposed. <laughs> you will not say the word coming soon, any or many times in the future, because they just, your fans go crazy. Yes, they do. But you took it upon yourself. You're like, look, <laughs> dear label, I love you, <laughs> but are you okay with me putting this track out, XYZ date, because it's going to come out either way? Right. Whether by accident yeah, or not. Yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, okay, so you one thing, everything worked out, and this track is officially out. Give me the details, everything about this track. Well, this track, uh, you know, it's funny because I feel like, you know, people have asked me in the past sort of how and where I find inspiration when I'm always on the go and when I'm always working and switching from one thing to another. I'm making a movie, I'm in the studio, and there's just, it's, it's a lot of sort of nonstop. Um, and I guess in that people will you know, think or assume that I don't, you know, I don't have anything else going on. Not that that's not enough, but 
uh, anything to draw from when it's all work. Um, but I obviously have my personal life and my friends and my family and, and relationships that I find hard to maintain when I'm on the road. And this song is basically, you know, that feeling you have, I think anyone can have and, and has had or will have at some point where you feel like you love someone so much and you genuinely just can't feel, you don't feel like you can give them what they deserve. Um, your time and, and love and energy because they, when you have so much going on, it's yeah. hard to do. So that's what this song is. And, and, um, the way it came about with the the people that are on it, um, Watt is a good friend of mine who co-wrote the song. And uh, I've he, never met Watt. Give me who? How do you know Watt? How should I know Watt? How should you know Watt? He's an amazing writer and producer, Got it. Uh, and musician, uh, and he is a great, great person. No, Watt, I need to meet him. I would love. to I meet will Watt. tell him. All right. I will tell him. Uh, and Alesso and I met a while back, and we've worked together before. And I actually recently met. Uh, Florida Georgia Line and uh, we were talking about this record and we were talking about how much we loved it and how we really thought it would and, and could be something special uh, and we we all jumped on it and wanted to make it the best we could and, and there have been again versions of it where it was finalized and it was done and we were like there's one more thing we can go back and fix <laughs> and we would do it so I'm very happy that it's again finally out not going to ask uh, specifics if it's about someone in particular but is it about a particular person or experience it is. And it, unfortunately, it's a, it's multiple situations. I think I've run into that sort of idea more than once, especially with what I do in the last couple of years of my life, whether it's a significant other or a friend where you just feel like, you know, when I'm home, I talk to my friends every single day, like my girlfriends all the time, 24 seven about everything and about nothing. And when I'm away, I don't know that I'm doing it, but I'm, I'm not available. I'm not around. I don't, I kind of like, you know, if I'm, if I'm making a movie and they understand, thank God I've got amazing friends that understand. But, um, I then realize that I come home and it's like life went on without me. And like, you right. know, you kind of wish that you could pick up where you left off, but so much time has passed that it's like, where do you, where, where did you leave off? Um, and it's just one of those, it's one of those thoughts where you're just like, I just want to see someone love you. I just want to see someone take care of you and, and care about you as much as I do because, you know, yeah, it's kind of you. You do deal with the yeah. You're kind of isolated in a lot of ways, you yeah. know. Although from the uh, that's the big misconception, I guess, with a lot of artists. Maybe more so. It's I guess people can see it more now with social media and just a lot more ways to communicate. But from the outside looking in, man, it's every God. You you must be happy twenty four seven, right. man. You're, but <laughs> God, you you have to be. I mean, just yeah, you're traveling, working, acting. I'll be honest with you. I've done some not like you have, but some minimal pieces acting in a ways, sucks, doesn't it? I mean, <laughs> the creative part is very cool, but sure. the hurry up and wait and sitting in a oh trailer. Oh my God, just, ah, it's just, so, it's ugh. rough. I shouldn't say sucks, but there's no, a no, downside no. to it, you know? <laughs> no, there are times where it sucks, but no, it's all good. Gotta well, love it. Let's, well, let's just do this track. Haley Steinfeld, I love her so much. Let Me Go, featuring, uh, well, with the less so, featuring Florida, Florida Georgia Line, and uh, Watt, once again, Let Me Go, check this. All right, guys, what up? It's JoJo on the radio. Uh, of course, where else would I be? Um, Haley Steinfeld's here. Haley, uh, let's let's talk. Uh, let, we talked about the movie. We talked about uh, about your your track, the single. Don't use the word soon. Oh, okay. But I mean, I know there's. Oh the, no. I know. Is there? How can I phrase this without saying it? There is a group of songs that usually go together, mm -hmm. and they get put out. You know, at mm -hmm. a time. Right. Is there anything along those lines that might be or might not be? <laughs> happening at some point yes the answer is yes to they might be um yeah it's so hard not to use that damn word um but it's all it's all happening it's in the works and um my fans are incredibly patient which i'm so thankful for because it's hard to explain um why it's not coming out uh you know when you're in the middle of making a movie but it's, you have um, a lot going on i do I mean, but really. it's it's all it's all coming together it's all coming together and i can't wait for more music to come out. All right, let me ask on this group of tracks that I'm not going to say the word. Um, <laughs> in your mind, as you see this, you know, group of song, is it uh, are we, you know, and it's just a, a guesstimate. Mm -hmm. Seventy percent done, eighty percent. You know, what do we? I mean, there's always that last second track that jumps in. Oh my of god, course. you know. Well, but, there's always that last period of time where you're like, hold on, we could, you know what I mean, change things around or it, add or yeah. Toy. yeah. You know what else there is too? There's always the. Uh, no, nah, I'm not going to put that track on the album. Totally. Yeah, and then it becomes the biggest song totally. ever. So, you know. Totally. Well, I, I'm in that process right now. I'm in it. I'm trying to figure out what's what and what goes where and how many and, and all of that. So uh, it's it's an exciting time. It's, a you know, something that the first time only happens once. And so it's something you obviously want to get right. And I've never done it before. So I, you know, just trying to figure it out. Well, it's, you know, when, uh, when it's ready... 
Everybody will know she is. Uh, you know, she obviously you love your fans. You're you, you're ready to give them what they want. Yes, I am. It's coming, you guys. As you come to the radio station, there's a bunch of things you're doing. Not just talking to me. You're mm-hmm. in one studio doing this, and I don't even know what you're doing. Uh, but uh, I uh, bump into your mom in the hallway. <laughs> okay. And me and your mom got to talking about a bunch of stuff. Uh, for example, uh, you're you know you're in San Francisco shooting this movie. Mm-hmm. Your brother who is the motorcycle racer? Or NASCAR. NASCAR racer. Okay. Yep. He's up there with you spending some time mm-hmm. while your mom and dad are kind of, you know, getting reintroduced to each other. Like yeah. They, you know, oh. And then we get to talking about diets and like your dad, <laughs> you know, your dad is this <laughs> was, trainer. That's a weird segue, but I'm we, with it. Yeah, we, me and your mom have talked. Like, <laughs> you covered a lot. Uh, yeah, so that your mom and dad are, they're doing pretty well. If okay. you didn't know. And, uh, <laughs> and your dad, he's, it, I still find this crazy. He gets up. Uh, he's a trainer. <laughs> yes. And uh, he gets up at 1.30 in the morning That's right. to train people. Mm-hmm. To me, is that technically getting up or is that staying up late? No, that's getting up for him given he literally is lights out, passed out at like 8 o'clock. Son of a gun. Yeah. All right. So, okay. So, we, I talked to your mom about that. <laughs> and your dad is, and I got to talking about how I'm doing this veg, well, pescatarian thing. Well, I'll, okay. eat, I'll eat vegetables. And fish, but no red meat, which I love meat, but I haven't done it for a while. Your dad uh, is full on, like, he eats no red meat. He'll eat fish. But right. you right. and your mom <laughs> are hamburgers, steaks. I mean, you guys just, you know, so this house is total, like, total opposites in the kitchen per your mom is what she told me. Yes. So, I mean, what the heck? You, you know? know what? I need to, like, expand my my palate here. So you I'm don't very... eat sushi at all? You know, no fish, no nothing? No. And you don't know how many people. I mean, it's like sushi's like a, it's not even like a, it's like a social thing here. Right. Um, going to get sushi, which is very unfortunate because I just don't eat, I just don't eat it. And it's so hard when you try it. Like, when people ask why, and you obviously, I'm like, I just don't like it. And they're like, have you tried it? Well, I mean, like, yeah, I'm not really, but I just know I don't like it. I don't have to try it to know I don't like it, right? And they're like, we're gonna, I'm going to make you try it. I have more people that are convinced they're going to, like, be the one that makes me eat sushi for the first time. And I'm not, I'm not ready. I had, yeah, I had that, I had those, I had those friends, but eventually there was that one. And I tell you, I bet you I know what's happening. It just, well, this is what happened to me. Tell uh-huh. me if it happened. Okay. Like you have these group of friends that when they take, uh, Haley, I'm going to show you the real, this, this is yeah, how yeah, you yeah, do yeah, it. Of course. But they try to show off and they give you the crazy stuff. Right. And they like, oh, everybody loves the dead fish head with the stick in it, you know. Oh. And, and you know, which, that's not even a thing. But that, but then it, at some point there's going to be one friend that doesn't try to show off, show off their, you know, super sushi skills. They give you the mildest tiniest a little, like, little hmm. yeah a little, hmm. a little try that and then and kill it with soy sauce go ha. and if, if it ever works it'll be that person because the show-offs just they're, they're trying right. to show off for themselves it's true and it's, it's so true the, yeah, 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 yeah but i had a buddy named ian that finally said all right just try this and then it, i liked it a little bit then i liked it a little more i still don't go with the crazy stuff so okay. you know not fi- there yet attention all Haley steinfeld's personal <laughs> friends stop trying to get all crazy with the sushi just give her super basic albacore with crispy onion and cut it up a little you can't take that full that full bite is also a thing okay that you yeah no i would it'd be a morsel or a super tiny <laughs> roll like I, the, the, the corn fritter roll at katsuya try that thing okay don't eat seaweed eat soy paper no no yeah don't eat soy seaweed tastes fishy to me soy paper doesn't okay that's another thing great all right you know or just don't try get a damn burger what uh, you I? know what that's what i'm gonna stick with out. thank you right. i'm trying to fix something why why fix it if it ain't broken <laughs> All right, let's, let's wrap it up with Haley Steinfeld in a sec, you guys. Do not move. All right, guys, JoJo on the radio in the studio with Haley Steinfeld. Of course, uh, follow her on everything at Haley Steinfeld. Get this track, Let Me Go, uh, with the Lesso, uh, Florida, Georgia Line, and Watt. That is uh, out now. There might be some more music. But there will be some more music yes. coming at some point. We don't have dates on that. You will figure it out when she figures it out, and that, that's pretty much it. Uh, Haley, what am I forgetting? Anything else? I'm trying to... Put the law down here, I like I'm the boss. It. You know, you'll right. figure it out when she figures it out. You know That's when right. she knows it. Oh Damn it. boy, <laughs> um, I think we, I think we got it all, Jojo. All right, and, okay. Before you take off, um, this is something that I think you're passionate about, and I have become more involved with uh, as of late. Although I've been passionate about it for a while, mental health. Your like your song, "Most Girls," was about empowering girls, and I've I've uh, started working with this company called uh, Wellbeing Trust. This is not an endorsement on your part at all. But it's a company to get people, you know, talking. Hashtag be well. Hashtag be heard. I've got a little kid now. Mm. Uh, and what threw me over the top, to be quite honest with you, was a couple of months ago, February to be honest, I sat in this in this exact chair and Chester from Lincoln Park sat 
right there. Wow. And I didn't see, and granted, I'd only met him that one time. I did not see it coming at all. Not that, how would I? I, I felt guilty and even felt guilty for feeling guilty. Right. But I think it's important to get people to realize we're not all, it's okay to be broken. It's uh, okay to ask for help. Right. And your song is, you, most girls, among other tracks, is very empowering and, hey, let's support one another kind of a thing. What do you mm-hmm. say to your fans who are, the simple things, school is rough, mm. uh, relationships, they're great when they're going good and then you get, you break up and it's the end of the world and some people take drastic, just, I want you to yeah, talk to your fans real quick on how to overcome some of those things. Not to get heavy on you, yeah, but no, I would no, love no. your peace on Of course, on I think like you said, you know, it's so important to know that, you know, you're not alone. I mean, I think that, you know, it's so crazy that I get to do what I get to do. And that is go out on stage in front of hundreds, if not thousands of people and wear something absolutely amazing. And, and something I saw myself wearing in a dream and my hair and makeup is done and everything's wonderful and amazing. And I get to connect with people and I, I get to make people smile. And, and I, I didn't know that I would ever be in a place to do that. And I feel so lucky to have that privilege. And I think if people only knew sort of what went into all of that and and the songs that I am performing in that light may not have been written in the light. You know what I mean? It right. may have been, I mean, like with, with Let Me Go, I mean, that, that's a song that, you know, was it, for me resonates with me because of a personal experience with, with feeling like I can't be there for certain people. And that affects me and how I perform and how I am when I'm away from that person or those people. And I don't know, I think, you know, finding your light and finding what makes you happy and knowing that no matter who says what about who you are or what you do or what they want you to do or what they think you should do, none of that is important. It has to be what makes you happy and, and find your, your people, your support system and do what makes you happy. Amen. Haley, I love you to death. Thank you. Your mom is awesome. <laughs> Never met your pop or your brother, but I love them too. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, get this, uh, get this track and, and listen to that advice she just gave you guys. All right. As always, to make it official, fist bump Haley. Come on. You're the best, Jojo. Thank you. you. Thank you.